Hey everybody, it's late in the night, but this is Kyle Gothier from GoatFilmReviews.com and the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel, and I've got my quick thoughts on the new film, The Pope's Exorcist. This was directed by Julius Avery, starring Russell Crowe, and is based on the uh, 1990 and 1992 books written by Father Gabriel Amorth, who is the chief exorcist for the Pope uh, at the Vatican uh, for about 30 years. And so these are supposed to be based on the true tales. I didn't really know how to go into this movie because... It seemed on the outset that this was going to be a very serious take on the material, um, and it was going to be an extreme, you know, like kind of, kind of like how The Conjuring was going to be playing up like a very serious take on the Warrens work. That's not really what this movie is, though. Um, Julius Avery directed a film I really enjoyed a couple years back called Overlord, and I should have used that more as a template because that's kind of what he's, he's having kind of fun with the material. He's having fun with the idea here. Um, it's not as good as Overlord. I'll just say that on the outset, but I enjoyed it. The movie was altogether held together by Russell Crowe's performance. I had a lot of fun watching him as, as the the titular Pope's exorcist. He was a guy that was, you know, from some of the background footage you can watch, he was a guy that was kind of like used, had a very specific attitude and a very specific style, and he would use that kind of bright, bubbly, comedic thing to... Uh, basically fight evil in some ways and so he's kind of a kooky character and I think the film works because of Russell Crowe. The actual exorcist stuff involving a family at an abbey plays extremely by the numbers um, and if, if you've seen a thousand exorcist movies and you're like I don't want to see another one doing the same old shit this movie might not work for you as well um, but I can give it a slight recommendation based on that Russell Crowe performance. Um, I think that for what they're given to do, there's a number of secondary characters that do pretty well. Daniel Zavato does pretty well as the uh, kind of the the other priest that uh, Gabriel Amorth is more of a mentor to. Alex Esso plays the mother. I, I really like Alex Esso. She doesn't have anything to do in this film, but she's doing the most she can with what she has. Another standout for me is um, a guy I've been seeing a lot more and more uh, recently, and that's Franco Nero, the... Uh, the original Django, you could say. Uh, he appeared in the Django Unchained remake, or not remake, but the Django Unchained film from 2012. He was also in John Wick Chapter 2, and so I saw him pop up here playing the Pope, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, overall, I enjoyed the movie. It was by the numbers. It was not a film that I see any major awards consideration for. It has too much CGI effects, especially near the end, that could have been practical and would have been more engaging that way. Um... But it's saved by a pretty solid and pretty enjoyable lead performance from Russell Crowe, and I had a lot of fun watching it. And you know what? They they set they tee up the film for potentially two hundred sequels, um, and I would watch those if they if they drop those. I would I would definitely watch those and check them out. Um, but now I want to know what your thoughts are on the Pope's Exorcist. Mine, mine's a slight recommendation, but what is yours? Did you hate the movie? Did you love it? Are you somewhere kind of in the middle, leaving positive or negative negative like me? Let me know out of the comments section below. Um, and would you be excited for a sequel? I'd like to hear that as well. Check out all those links down in the description to see my GoFilmReviews.com for my written reviews. You can check out GoFilmReviews on Facebook. You can follow me at Almighty Goatman on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. And you can check out my show, Kyle and Nick, on film that I co-host with Nick Plodchuk from the St. Paul Filmcast. We have new episodes every single week. All those links are down there. And we'll see you next time.